We are in the coniferous forest biome right at the moment and it is amazing. There are a lot of coniferous forests in the United States, all over the world. And you might think that because it's so common, they're not that cool. But these things are adapted to extreme conditions. Not only that, if you want to find the biggest tree, then you go out west. You find the coastal redwoods. Or you get up into the mountains and the bristlecone pines. A bristlecone pine is the oldest tree in the world. If the deciduous trees can't cut it, these guys usually can. Now, let me, let me show you some of the neat things about this particular forest. There are a few adaptations that coniferous trees have to dealing with these harsh conditions. For instance, if you look at the needles on these trees, they're covered by a cuticle, which is a waxy coating that helps prevent moisture from leaving the leaves. And that's because, well, it oftentimes it's really dry. I mean, we're talking about harsh conditions. They have to make sure that they don't lose all of the water. Also, out in a habitat like this, it's super sandy, the water is not right at the surface. So these longleaves, for instance, have tap roots that go down like 40 feet down into the ground. I mean, that's amazing. They can tap into that water table way, way down there. Also, pine trees have needles and they're full of chemicals, basically tannins, that make it not very yummy to eat. All right, let's now talk general biodiversity. If you can't tell, this is a unique looking environment and you might not think there's a lot here, but there's over 900 plant species that live in the understory of these longleaf pines. There are 31 species of snakes that live here. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> in part because of these dominant longleaf pines and the habitat that they exist in with holes for burrows and things that live in the burrows and things that live on the things that live in the burrows. I mean, there's just a whole lot going on here in this habitat. Finally, just the one thing I'd like to bring up is that these habitats are really fire adapted. So everything that you're looking at, they're gonna be scorched, the trees. They can handle the fire. The pine cones that drop down often need fire to germinate and regrow and re-sprout. And it also helps eliminate competition for them. And if you take away the fire, like Europeans have done in the past, um, well, then other things start growing there. This habitat would not look this way without fire. And humans have been here for thousands and thousands of years spreading fire, so it's looked this way for a long time. And if you take fire out, it changes the habitat. In fact, it turns it into a different biome completely, the deciduous forest biome. If you have a chance to come to a coniferous forest, you gotta do it. If it's not a long leaf like this, then, you know, out west, up in the mountains, up north, out, uh, out in the southwest, they're everywhere, they really are. And they're just the coolest things to learn about. And once you get to know them, then you realize that. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have stuff on all of the biomes. Links to that down in the description. So I hope you're enjoying this. Maybe you're using it for class or maybe you're just learning online with me. <laughs> I need to take some more pictures of this forest. We'll see you next time. Bye.